guys man what is up man today has been really crazy what day is it today it is Tuesday right now this whole week has been kind of busy honestly I'm really enjoying working here at my office and by the way if you want to see where I work this is my office let me okay this this isn't my office okay but this is my office so if you want to see where I sit my desk is right there that's my area so this is my office man I mean look how this place is so check this out this is what area you guys saw in my last video. That's why I usually come up, come up here, go to my desk, and that's where I work and stuff. Go to the restroom. There's where you play games. We even got a arcade game over there too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, man, today's been kind of crazy. I mean, when I woke up this morning today, believe it or not, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted I woke up at like 5.45 or something like that right here. I mean, if you haven't, man, make sure you follow me on my IG. And it's been crazy, man. I mean, I woke up at 5.40 in the morning, right? I woke up, I went ahead and I went to the bathroom. I just did my usual thing. Put on my black sweater. After that, I went to my car, driving through LA. As I'm driving, driving through LA traffic, traffic was pretty bad, and usually traffic's like this. Lousy traffic jams. But you know what I mean. If you live from Orange County, you live in LA, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And now it's the end of the day, and what I really want to talk about is how I became a developer. But more than that, how I got my second developer job. And a lot of people are blown away. Chris, you just got a job at Entrepreneur Magazine. Yeah, trust me, it's pretty insane. I still can't believe that I work here. So in order for me to explain to you how I actually got here, I want to go back 12 months. So from this point on, I've been a developer for one year. I've been coding for one year. I'm finally comfortable with HTML. I'm very comfortable with CSS. JavaScript, I'm okay. I'm still not there. A year in, I still feel like I'm not confident enough to work within it. Um, I'm just getting in there. I, at this point, I'm still a junior developer, to be quite honest. But I'm there, and I'm at work, and I go to my computer, and I see this ad on Craigslist. And I go on Craigslist, and I see this ad, and it says, Front end engineer, I'm like, okay, front end engineer, that sounds even more complicated than a front end developer. So I go ahead and I click on the ad, and it looks like there's things that I actually could do. HTML, CSS, SAS, JavaScript. I felt like, okay, I'm not the best, but you know what? Even though I look like I don't qualify for this position, what did I do anyway? I applied. So I went ahead and I sent in my application. Then, a week later, I'm at work, in my office, at my previous job, and I'm just there looking at Instagram on my phone. I get an email from entrepreneur and they emailed me talking about front end engineer position at entrepreneur I'm like no way this is not true this is crazy why would they even respond to me I've been coding for only one year I'm not, I'm just a junior developer why would they hire me boom I get that email and I, I respond right away and I say hello thank you for getting back to me but yeah I guess I'm definitely interested I want to go ahead and do this and so they go ahead and we set up a schedule and then after that we had a video interview on Skype. Yeah, I've been coding for about one year so far. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd love One of the reasons it applies because, I mean, Entrepreneur Magazine, who wouldn't want to work for you guys? Interviewed me, it went well. Getting to know the CTO of the company, just getting to know them personality, they seemed like really cool people. And I, honestly, I remember during this interview, when I was interviewing with them, I remember telling myself, Chris, is too good to be true. There's no way that they would want to hire you. There's no way that they would take you in because, like, dude, you're so new to this development. There's no way they take you in. And I remember during this entire time thinking, there's no way. But after the interview, after everything went so well, at the end of the, the Skype interview, the person asked me, Chris, I think this was a really good interview. We want to go ahead and schedule an in-person interview with you. And I was like, what the heck? No way. Okay, I calmed down. Okay, I didn't say it like that. I was like, wow, cool. Let's go ahead and schedule an interview. <laughs> and so we go ahead and schedule an interview. I come in here in person and we go to this office. Wait, but it wasn't in this office. Hold on. But all right, so this is where I actually had my second interview. Uh, this is where I sat. Again, I said this in my last video. I'll show you again. So I was sitting here. This is where my interview was. I remember I had my laptop right here. I was sitting right here. Let me show you. And so I remember. Oh, shit. And so I remember sitting right here. I was sitting right here at the desk. This is where the interviewer was interviewing me from. He was staring at me right here. And I remember I was on my laptop doing a code test, sharing my code on here. And I passed it, right? And it was pretty cool when I had my second interview. I didn't think that anything would happen. Um, things went well. Uh, he told me he wants to schedule a third interview to meet with someone else in the office upstairs. So let's go back up there right now. Yeah, so where we met was actually over here. So it was actually in this office where I had a third interview with the person. And they actually showed me a new design that they wanted to have for the page, which is actually live on entrepreneur.com. Make sure you check it out right now. 
And this designer, like Chris, how would you do this? And I remember when he asked me this question, I'm like, I have no idea. How would you implement the video? What, would, what frameworks or libraries would you use? I had no idea. I tried to give the best answers I possibly could. But yeah, honestly, I was really able to tell that they didn't really want to give me the position right after the interview. I, I just knew right off the bat. And I went home and I remember just waiting and waiting. But after I went home, one week later, no email from them. Two weeks later, no email. So I finally actually emailed them following up and asking them, was there anything I can do to go ahead and speeding up the process for working at this company and I didn't get the position. They told me that they found someone else, that the position has been filled and really good luck on my endeavors or however how you say it. And honestly, I remember like this moment when this happened. I remember when I didn't get this job, I felt so heartbroken. And what do I mean by heartbroken? I mean, my value, like the way I saw myself as a valuable developer, the way I saw myself at that time, I saw myself as like here, right? But when I didn't get the job, I felt like I was nothing. I felt like I, I had no skill. I would never be needed by any company ever in the future. And this is actually something that I didn't tell you guys at all when this happened. This was actually June of 2017 when I didn't get the position. Um, at this time, I really started to wonder like was coding, was coding really for me? Was it something that I can actually do for a living? Is this something that I could really grow my skill in? And at this point, and no one knows, this is when I actually made this video. The video I made, actually let me go ahead and show you this right now. So I made this video called, where I talk about one of the days I just really felt like quitting. This was on June, what day was this? This was on June 24th, 2017. And I remember thinking, coding just, it, it can't be for me. Like it, maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe I need to give up on this and not code anymore. But I told myself, Chris, it's normal. It's okay to get rejected. It's okay to face failure. It's okay because through these failures, you are able to learn so much more about yourself and what you need to become and what you need to do to become a better developer. And so instead of dragging my feet around, like sh you know, shrugging my shoulders, I went harder on YouTube, I went harder in code, and I want to become better. And I made a choice, decision, that I need to get better and make a difference in my life. And so I made a goal that from that point on, I want to be the best JavaScript developer out there. And I went all out on JavaScript. I went on Treehouse, teamtreehouse.com, right? I went back on there and the full stack JavaScript tech degree at teamtreehouse.com. And if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description below. And I went through that, even at my current job at that time, my previous job they're like Chris what the heck you're getting so much better at JavaScript but I learned Vue.js anyway and I got into it and started loving Vue like crazy I went on Craigslist.com and I saw the exact same ad again at Entrepreneur Magazine and I saw the exact same ad they're looking for people who at least know a JavaScript framework React, Angular, or Vue and I know Vue now I'm not the best but I'm comfortable and I enjoy working with it maybe I can try again but I remember telling myself, Chris, there's no way they would want to hire you again. Why would they hire you after they already said no to you? But I did it. And guess what? One week later, the person emailed me and they said, Chris, are you still interested? And he had told me, yeah, Chris, I mean, I, when the position opened, I remembered you and I was actually looking for your email so I can email you again. And good thing you applied to the job again, which is crazy to me. Like, wait, but it was like a week, a year ago that you didn't want me. but. Anyway, I'm a much better developer now. I didn't even do a coding test. They didn't know about my YouTube channel at this time. So literally, I got this job as a front engineer at Entrepreneur Media, Entrepreneur Magazine, in the span of just one week. After just one week, they gave me the position. And the reason I'm telling you the story is because I know how you feel. I was at a point when I thought coding wasn't for me. I was at a point when I thought I should give up. I was at a point when I thought maybe I'm just not smart enough. But I persevered and I remembered why I did this. It wasn't for me, but it was to take care of my family. And so that my mom and my stepdad wouldn't have to go hungry. That they wouldn't have to worry about how they're gonna pay the bills. That when they ask me for money, when they need help, it doesn't have to be a burden to me. I could see, mom, what do you need? What do you want? Here, I'll help you out. And now I can do that. Why? Because I persevered. This is how I got my second developer job. There's no secrets, there's no tricks. All I did was I persevered. I didn't give up and I remembered why I did this in the first place because I wanted it. I know there's so many people out there who want to quit, who think you're just not good enough. It takes a while. I went through two interviews at the same company to get this job. I didn't know JavaScript well until after like maybe a year and a year and a half. It's okay to feel like you're stupid, but you can get there. Don't give up. This is how you can get your first developer job. Well, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. <laughs> I know it's a lot of like ranting, like it was just a huge rant and stuff, but I don't know, I thought I should tell my story. Anyways guys, 
this is where I work, this is my job, this is my life, this is Dev's life. If you guys have any questions, let me know, leave a comment below. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't. But either way, I'll see you guys next time. This is Krishan, this is Life for a Developer, and I'm out. Alright guys, what is up IG? I'm here in the office right now. You look at this, my desk is actually right there with that, um, the open monitor. But I'm here, I'm actually about to shoot a video. I got my camera right here. So today, um, the video I'm actually going to work on, I'm making, is actually going to be called, or it's, it's pretty much about how I got my developer job, my second developer job, and the things I went through to get here. And I really thought that I'd make something that could really encourage you guys even that much more. Um, and not even just that, this video was really supposed to go live tonight. I was supposed to come in early today to shoot and all this, but I was too tired, man. I went back to sleep after I woke up at 5 a.m. And yeah, so this video will go live tomorrow morning, but I can't wait.